This is Weekly Weed News 2.0, the podcast with Keith Preston for Sunday, September 29th, 2019. In this week's Weed News, we talk Israel, we talk Andrew Cuomo, we talk arthritis and more, man. Yeah. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Weekly Weed News 2.0, the podcast, everybody. (laughs) Hell yeah, man. Welcome to the show. I am your host. My name is Keith Preston. <coughs> and you might know me from my Keith Preston's Time Tested Edibles Cookbook series available on Amazon and KeithPreston.com. You dig? You might know me from Smoke Network. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you might uh, be a listener of the podcast. In that case, you know what I'm saying? Welcome back. Uh, or you might not know me at all. And in that case, man, uh, hi. Hi. My name is Keith Preston, and I'm a stoner that loves cannabis. Uh, You know what I'm saying? And I think it's insane that at some point in history, we as just people got hoodwinked into letting fucking our elected leaders choose our fucking plants and vegetables for us. And I just feel like there's too much money to be made, and there's too many people needlessly suffering. Um, and, and, And I feel like we all need to take action today to help legalize weed tomorrow. Because we're super close, and it's helping a lot of people. It's helping bring back a lot of cities and economies. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 After-school programs are being funded with tax money from cannabis. And, and it's just a, a circle of good, man. And and plus, like, uh, we can slowly start replacing, you know, uh, uh, plastics that don't biodegrade with, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 hemp. Uh, uh, alternatives and shit like that. I don't know. Cannabis is such an uh, amazing fucking plant with so many uses. It's nuts. And I don't know how the fuck we got it to this point where it's been illegal for so long, but we're fucking making so much progress every day. Like every week for 80, what, two, three weeks now, 82 weeks, I've been reporting on, on, on these stories and there's always so many positive fucking, uh, uh, things constantly week by week. And, and, and that's what's up. But yo, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling this shit, but. Take action today to help legalize weed tomorrow. That's all this shit is about, man. But anyway, man, uh, before we get started, shout out to my uh, 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 my partner in music, uh, uh, Mr. Go Hard. You know what I'm saying? The whole Countless Racks Records crew, LMR Production Exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been announcing uh, new music coming soon, and I'm glad, uh, you know what I'm saying, to be able to tell you guys that I just finished mixing the first uh, new song that we, we recorded um, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 uh, I had Mr. Gohart in the studio. We did a, 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 a quick interview podcast episode that I'm still editing, but I'm going to throw that new song at the end of it and, 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 and publish that either, uh, next week or two weeks from now. But, uh, anyway, man, fucking, uh, you heard me mention Smoke Network, man, and, and if you've never been to Smoke Network, if you're on the internet and you smoke weed, you probably stunned on the internet right now, go to smoke.io to sign up, smoke.network to find out more, because it's, uh, uh, you can start earning free, uh, 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 not, f- well, free, you can start earning, uh, 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 cryptocurrency, uh, by just, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Commenting on people's posts, but you get free uh, 4.2 smoke coins when you sign up, and fucking, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just a hub for 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 cannabis users created by cannabis users, and it's amazing. And uh, I've been on that shit since it started, and 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 you know what I'm saying? I, I like, I see so many beautiful uh, like grow journal type uh, 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 shits, man. Uh, G Gardner, shout out to you, man. I've been looking at at what you were posting the other day. That's just beautiful, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
But anyway, man, fucking uh, uh, smoke.io to find out more or to sign up smoke.network to find out more. I'm already stoned off for one hit of this weed. I'm smoking some shit called MAC Mac. I don't know what the fuck that stands for. Um, but it, uh, uh, I think I got it at Cure Relief out in Phoenix. Um, but it's some fucking fire ass weed. Anyway, if you ever thought of growing weed though, cause you want to have endless fucking amounts of bomb buds, check out the I Love Growing Marijuana dot com grow bible in the description below, and you can get that for free and learn how to grow. Boom, motherfucking uh uh. Yeah, let me hit this bong one more time and get in this fucking weed news, man. But yeah, this MAC Mac weed, man. It smells so danky, too. Like, uh, I took a hit off the bong and went and grabbed breakfast real quick. Around the corner, came back, and my house smelled like like that top-of-the-line weed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can smell if it's mid-grade. You can smell if it's Reggie. You can smell if it's that fire. I came back to, like... My whole shit smelled like that beautiful fucking top shelf weed, man. That fucking secret menu type shit. Anyway, man, let me hit this and let's get into this week's weed news, man. Yo, fuck yeah, man. For our first weekly weed news story of this week. <coughs> <coughs> We go to the great nation of Israel, man. Yo, back in the 1990s, the great nation of Israel legalized medical cannabis use, right? And since then, things have only gotten better. Um, Last year in 2018, the Knesset, uh, it's something like the Israeli parliament, uh, even voted to decriminalize adult use of cannabis. Um, the vote passed by a margin of 41 to one. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, and now, uh, I'm thrilled to report that Israel just became the first Middle East, uh, country with a so-called quote, specialized cannabis consumption establishment End quote. That's right. The company uh by the name of legalization now uh just opened a cafe in the city of Beersheba which has a legal medical cannabis consumption area uh where medical patients can gather and smoke weed together man what the fuck yo that's so dope like uh you know what i'm saying uh 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 but to be clear Um, Israeli law lets people use cannabis only on private property, and that applies to both adult personal use as well as medical, uh, uh, patients. Um, cannabis, the, uh, the cafe will not be allowed to sell any cannabis or cannabis products will not be sold there at all. Uh, but they say that they will offer paraphernalia like rolling papers, pipes, bongs, vapes, and the like. Quote. Uh, uh, no, wait, we are, quote, trying to fight for designated areas that would be accessible for medical marijuana users, hoping that it will get to every cafe, says Legalization Now, uh, the, the owners of, of the establishment. Quote, it is healthy and people shouldn't look up on it uh, the way they do. We will hold educational events to show the public that cannabis is a medicine, the founders continued. Fuck yeah, man. Um, I feel like this is a huge step forward. And the fact that the founders of this cafe are hoping to create a trend. You know what I'm saying? Where other spots start designating medical cannabis consumption areas on their premises too. Like, that's absolutely amazing. Um, Israel is by far the most open-minded nation in the Middle East when it comes to cannabis, and it has been for decades. And in my opinion, um, you know what I'm saying, it's only going to stay that way and shit, man. Uh, Last year, I remember reporting on a nation officially designating a type of vaporizer as a medical device instead of uh, drug paraphernalia um, and even allowing its use inside of hospitals in Israel, man. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, naturally, you know what I mean? I got to give legalization now a big shout out 
for what they have done this week. And I hope that, you know, they get enough press for one and, and enough business from doing that, you know, that others will take notice and follow suit. Um, you know what I'm saying? But 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 for now, man, that's what's up in Israel, man. And that's a cool uh, way to start out fucking this week's weed news, man, because that's some fucking cool shit, man. Um, but yeah, for our next weekly weed news story of the week, we go to all of the great United States of America, man. All right. So the JAMA Open Network just published their results of a study they ran on over 165,000 participants during 2016 and 2017, which focused on why people who use cannabis use it. Um, And what they found is that about 22% of all cannabis users surveyed, they use weed purely for recreational reasons. About 46% of the participants answered that they, uh, they used it purely for medical reasons. Thus, the researchers concluded that twice as many people use cannabis for medical reasons compared to just wanting to get faded. Quote, adults with medical conditions, especially those with respiratory conditions, cancer and depression, were more likely to use marijuana, said the researchers in their conclusion. The study also noted that Out of those uh, who consume cannabis, over 77% uh, prefer smoking as their favorite method of cannabis consumption. Um, One thing I personally don't understand about this particular study is why the percentages of cannabis users, you know what I'm saying, 22% recreational and 46% medical, like that doesn't add up to 100, right? That's 68, right? Um, I don't know, so maybe like the rest of them use it for both reasons or some refuse to answer or there might be some other kind of, uh, 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 shit that they could have chosen, I guess. I don't know, but it's just weird because that doesn't make, you know what I'm saying, sense to me. Uh, but anyway, man, I'm sure that, uh, as more and more states legalize recreational weed or we finally do so on a national level here in the states, uh, this ratio is for sure going to change, you know what I'm saying? But for now... That's what's up with why people consume cannabis in America, man. Shit, let me consume some more of this cannabis right quick. But, yo, I'm already fucking toasted off these two hits, man. Like, I don't know. Uh, Like, I don't pay attention to, like, whatever percentage THC they say it is and all this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, If I'm a smoke... Four or five bong hits of some 15% weed. I'm still going to get stoned as fuck. If it's 30% weed, like, which this could be, very well be, like, I I smoke two bong hits and I'm already stoned. Like, I could, like, not smoke for the next half an hour and just be chill. But, you know what I'm saying? That's not how this show works. Um, Plus, I already broke up the weed and shit, so I'm going to smoke it now. But um, all I'm trying to say is this is some bomb-ass weed, man. Next, weekly weed news story of the week. We go to the great state of New York, man. Okay, so um, you might remember previous stories I wrote this year about Governor Andrew Cuomo from New York really trying to legalize recreational weed in his state. Um, you might also remember that in the end. He was unsuccessful in keeping his promise uh, of bringing legal trees to New York by the end of the year. But the good news is the governor has not given up. Um, As a matter of fact, he seems to be making a lot of sense when it comes to his new approach to legalization. In a recent interview, Andrew Cuomo made it clear that he believes that Connecticut, New Jersey, and New York State should actually band together and create 
uh, cannabis legalization, um, you know, legislation that would be the same for all three states. Um, he says that it is unavoidable that uh, should one or more of the above mentioned states legalize, but not all of them, that people from the neighboring states, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, which are relatively small in size, like a lot of people live in Jersey and work in New York and shit like that, um, are going to cross over to where it is legal you know, on a regular basis and bring back cannabis to their home state, regardless of if it's allowed or not. And that's a really fucking realistic approach. He's like, look, man, you know, that shit's going to happen. You know, people drive from fucking Jersey to New York every day and shit like that. Um, you know, fucking. And so it would make sense if maybe we came up with like similar laws for all of us and shit, especially since Massachusetts already fucking selling recreational weed. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, fucking uh, Cuomo said that he will go to Connecticut this week to meet with his counterparts there and discuss a, quote, regional cannabis strategy approach and uh, see if they can come up with some kind of uh, 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 framework that would work for Connecticut as well as New York. If you remember, both New York and New Jersey were dead set on legalizing cannabis this year, so... I feel like it could be possible that Cuomo may get the governors of Connecticut and New Jersey to go along with his new regional approach. You know what I'm saying? As a, 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 a another way of trying to, to legalize it. You know, I don't think anybody's ever done that where a couple state, states band together and shit. But I don't know. One thing is certain, regardless of what they do, none of these states are going to have legal adult cannabis before 2020. But the fact that Andrew Cuomo, you know what I'm saying? And I think uh, Governor Murphy in New Jersey as well um, remain focused on eventually legalizing weed despite all the setbacks uh, suffered this year is tremendous. Let's hope that next year ends up being better for the East Coast cannabis legalization efforts than 2019 ended up being. But for now, that's what's up in uh, New York State, man. But uh, I feel like dude's making sense, man. Um, And again, I don't vote. I actually lost my voting rights fucking years and years and years ago um, on some bullshit and fucking... uh, I don't know anything about dude's politics, but all I know is I keep hearing that Cuomo wants to bring weed to New York, and fucking that I I like. I don't know what the fuck else he's doing, so like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 I'm not like a Cuomo fan in this in in the political sense, just in the the, the sense that this motherfucker is trying to get weed to New York, which is ridiculous that a city like New York doesn't have fucking recreational weed. Come on, man. Man, anyway, yo, fucking for our next weekly weed news story of the week, we go to the great state of Massachusetts, man. Yo, the Massachusetts Cannabis Control Commission made some updates to their medical cannabis program rules this week. And if you ask me, I feel like the changes they came up with are actually quite positive. Uh, one of the four major or one of the major uh, uh, points that was approved by the uh, commission by a unanimous vote is the elimination of I said that shit weird as fuck. Huh? The elimination of the annual fee that people had to pay. In order to become uh, or remain MMJ patients in Massachusetts. This is actually something that the Massachusetts Patient Advocacy Alliance had been fighting for for some time now, man. Quote, it was an obstruction to health care. No other medicine requires a $50 fee, said executive director of the MPAA. Nicole Snow, adding that eliminating the fee will be a quote real win for low income and disabled patients, end quote. I personally uh, believe that getting rid of the fees is a good idea, and I feel 
it will help keep the Massachusetts uh, medical cannabis program alive. You know what I'm saying? Now that they have legalized uh, recreational cannabis and people no longer need MMJ cards to enter dispensaries, uh, you know what I mean, to purchase trees. Like, um, like a lot of people be like, why even pay that shit? But um, fucking, I don't know, like the new rules will go into effect as soon as... Um, the Secretary of State has had time to look uh, over the, the the paperwork, I guess, or whatever, and then uh, sign that shit into law, uh, which is expected to take no more than a few weeks. Um, you dig? Shout-outs to the Massachusetts Patient Advocacy Alliance for taking action and for staying with their goal and, and making a, a difference for shit, tens of thousands of medical patients in their state, man. Um and that's what's up in Massachusetts, man. Shit. Fucking. Oh, shit. Never brings us to our final weekly weed news story of this week, man. Damn, yo. Take this one more bong hit. Yo, but yeah, for our final weekly weed news story of this week, we go to the Arthritis Foundation, man. It is estimated that around 50 million Americans suffer from some variation of arthritis and simultaneously they, uh, there's been uh, more and more anecdotal evidence emerging about how cannabidiol or CBD can help reduce the pain and inflammation for some types of this painful condition. And this week, the Arthritis Foundation announced um, that uh, over the last few months, uh, the foundation has actually been working with CBD experts because they are trying to put together a how-to usage guide for those suffering from arthritis related problems who would like to try their luck with CBD treatment but don't know where to start man <laughs> hell yeah yo that's what's up man although there have been some studies pr um Proving uh, cannabidiol's anti-inflammatory effects when tested on animals. As far as CBD's effects on, on humans go, um, there's virtually no scientific data to use as guidance because there have simply not been very many studies focused specifically on what the benefits and or any, you know, risks patients who treat their arthritis with just cannabidiol could experience. Um because there is so far no one single treatment that works for all types of arthritis, the Arthritis Foundation says that um, any new treatment options are welcome, including those derived from cannabis and hemp. Go low and quote, go low and slow. Start with just a few milligrams of CBD in sublingual form twice a day. If relief is inadequate after one week, increase the dose by the same amount, end quote, reads part of the guide. The Arthritis Foundation also stated that they, quote, are intrigued by the, po by the potential of CBD to help people find pain relief and are on record urging the FDA to expedite the study and regulation of these products, end quote. Of course, um... The guide also cautions against replacing, you know, whatever arthritis medication you may currently be on with CBD without first consulting a medical professional. And because there has been a lot of discrepancy lately as to the quality of different CBD products sold, especially online, um, the foundation also urges patients to look for domestically grown um, made in the USA products. Um, I am no doctor, yo. Um, I'm gonna say that again. I am no doctor, but I personally believe, whoa, excuse me. I personally believe that, uh, I would recommend something like a salve over a sublingual tincture 
for someone whose joints hurt. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just because you're able to apply the CBD medicine directly to the part of the body that hurts. You know what I mean? Actually, if I was experiencing arthritis pain in, let's say, my hands, I would probably do both. Like a sublingual tincture as well as like some one-to-one CBD THC salve directly on my joints. And yeah, I'd probably smoke a couple joints while I was doing that shit because we all know that CBD works best when it's paired with THC, right? Um, But like I said, I am no doctor, so this is in no way any kind of medical advice, just my opinion. Um, But I really do like hearing that, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Arthritis Foundation is open-minded enough to continue researching for, or, you know what I mean, for better and better treatments and, and 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 that they're not afraid to test out something that many medical professionals still view as very controversial. So kudos to them and and that's what's up, man. Anyway, for 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 now, that's what's up with C B D and the Arthritis Foundation, man. And that's it for this week's weed news, you guys. Um take action today to help legalize weed tomorrow. Look, man. Um, um, the world is waking up to the truth about this amazing plant. Yo, I'm fucking toasted the shit off this fucking MAC weed, yo. Um, fucking, uh, check out Smoke Network if you haven't had a chance. Smoke.io. Get your, uh, smoke coin on. Look at pretty pictures of weed. Learn something. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, meet some dope people that love weed just like you do. Shit. You're already online. Shit. You're already stoned. You might as well. Fucking, uh, if you're trying to grow, get your grow Bible. I love growing marijuana.com grow Bible from the description below. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, and fucking listen to some Mr. Go Hard shit. I'm gonna, uh, uh, post that fucking interview shit one of these weeks, man. Um, I just, like I said, I just finished the first song and shit that we made. So, um, that shit's coming in a couple weeks and shit. And, 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 and that's what's up, man. Anyway, fucking. Thank you to everybody to who leaves, you know, comments and shit and reviews the show on iTunes or on anywhere else. I'll smoke network and shit. And shout outs to everybody, man. I'll smoke network uh that 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 posts on my shit, that reads my shit. I'm high as fuck right now, you guys. Uh same place, same time or whatever the fuck. Keep next week, yo, Keith Preston out, man. Shit.
killer, we stay smoking on it. You can smell it, it's that killer, we stay smoking on it. You can smell it, it's that killer, we stay smoking on it. You can smell it, it's that killer, we stay smoking on it. Smell it, it's that killer, we stay smoking, no need. Good. And is there anything left in that bong?